Hello everyone and welcome to another Pyro Gaming video. As I'm sure most of you are aware, the Warmind expansion also brought a lot of changes to exotic weapons. Some got buffed, some got new perks, some got new exotic abilities, and all in all, they're pretty much all great, with the exception of maybe one or two. And I'm sure you guys have been playing around with these exotics. I know just about everybody watching this video has played with Sunshot and seen the bigger explosions for the Sunblast effect. I know that pretty much everybody watching this video has played with Graviton Lance and got to experience what it's like to basically shoot Axion bolts at enemies. They're both really, really fun, but one exotic weapon that I am not seeing getting a lot of love, and it's really bothering me because it's insanely good, is Darcy. Now this is something that I never in a million years would have ever guessed that I would say, and that is that Darcy, the exotic sniper rifle, might genuinely be the best exotic in this game right now. So let's talk about what changed with Darcy. What did they alter to make Darcy so good? Now the intrinsic perk personal assistant is pretty much the same. Aim at an enemy to view its health and other critical information in the scope. But the exotic trait target acquired is where you get the change. When personal assistant is active, this weapon has better target acquisition and deals significantly more precision damage four times more damage to be exact. Rounding out the rest of the perks and the exotic catalyst, the Darcy catalyst once acquired will increase stability, which is actually going to be pretty useful on this one since it is the higher rate of fire archetype of sniper. And the exotic catalyst can be obtained, at least the first step, uh, by just killing random enemies. You'll see it drop out in the wild, even in patrol if you're killing a bunch of adds. So to recap all that, when you lock on to an enemy with Darcy while aiming down the sights, you get a 4 times damage boost. So let's go ahead and look at what happens when you lock on to an enemy. So as you just saw, when you have an enemy in your scope and Darcy locks on to that enemy, your screen will get a little bit more lights on the display and it will make an audible clicking sound to let you know that you are indeed locked on. Now once you're locked on, assuming you keep your scopes on that enemy, then every round that you shoot after that initial round will still be the four times damage shot because you are still locked on to that enemy. So what that means is that instead of firing seven rounds from Darcy at normal damage, you can potentially fire seven rounds from Darcy at four times the amount of damage that you would if you did not lock on first. So to put that in perspective, if you fire a full clip of Darcy while locked onto an enemy at four times damage, which is seven shots at four times damage, that is the equivalent of firing 28 rounds from Darcy prior to this buff. That is seven rounds that is the equivalent damage output of firing 28 rounds prior to this buff. That is absolutely insane. So to compare that to other sniper rifles, like say Borealis or the Maestro, that is the high impact, low rate of fire, which should deal the most damage, Darcy actually does more damage per shot than Borealis does when Darcy is locked onto an enemy. And Darcy even has a seven round magazine and 23 total rounds in reserve, making it an absolute DPS monster. I have not yet tried this thing in the raid, but I have no doubt whatsoever that this is going to be the new main DPS dealing exotic for both Kallus, Argos, and in the new Spire of Stars raid layer. So drop a comment in the box below and let me know if you have tried out Darcy, and if you have not, you need to go over to your exotic weapons collections right now, buy one, and equip it, and run around, and enjoy it. But that's going to bring this video to an end, guys. If you enjoyed it, click like. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe. And if you are already subscribed, I fucking love you. Much more videos planned in the near future, so stick around to the channel and check back if you want to see those. Thanks for watching this one. Take care, guys.